just want to take this time to acknowledge to country uh, and Indigenous Ways acknowledges the traditional owners of country throughout Turtle Island and pays respect to the elders past and present. We want to acknowledge the tr traditional owners and ancestors of these lands that we reside on here in Santa Fe, New Mexico, the Pueblo people, and wherever you are beaming in from, acknowledging the traditional owners and ancestors of the lands that you're on so we could be here today. Uh, Indigenous Ways dedicates to bridging cultural exchange with people globally. Anyway, thank you everyone, whether you are in live with us through Zoom or through our social media sites, or if you're watching the live recordings of this, we're really grateful that you are here with us this evening. And Indigenous Ways is dedicated to bridging cultural exchange with people globally. And we would like for you to consider the end of year making a donation. This is the part of our nonprofit that we do to keep it running. And there are links on our website to donate. It's very easy. And this helps pay for the artists, musicians, presenters, elders, wisdom keepers, and ASL interpreters. You can go to our website, indigenousways.org, and you will see on our banner, end of year campaign. Thank you for being with us this evening. Tonight is a very, 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 very special night. I cannot even tell you how special tonight is. Tonight we have one of the most amazing human beings, five-fingered one that's ever been born into humanity. Chip Livingston has so many gifts that he was born with. Chip Livingston has lived so many lives and has done so many things from all over the United States, <clears throat> the uh, various Americas. He's traveled, he's taught people, he's been published, he's been a journalist, he's been a model, he's been uh, anything Chip's ever wanted to be, he's been able to be. And you know what the most important thing about Chip Livingston is? He's humble. Mm. He's almost a little shy, too. But you know what's really beautiful about Chip is he, he's worked hard for everything that he's put his mind to, and he's been exceptionally good at everything. So Chip today teaches at the Institute of American Indian Arts as a mentor for the MFA writing program, and he's uh, highly sought after on an international scale by many universities, entities, Ivy Leagues, wanting him to come and teach people of all ages, of all cultures, how to write. And we are so blessed at the Institute of American Indian Arts, uh, Indian, uh, Institute of American Indian Arts to have Chip Livingston to uh, teach a bunch of Native Americans. And I always like to say all others and all others because we're not exclusive and we do need our allies. So we're grateful for Chip tonight, and I'm just going to give it up for Chip. Let's just enjoy, sit back, buckle up, grab your tea, your coffee, your popcorn, and let's have fun. Yay, Chip. Thanks for being with us. Thank you so much, Tosh and Elena. Um, I mean, I'm overwhelmed, as I knew I would be, by your introduction, Tosh. You're so generous um, with... Um, everything with your time, with your creativity, uh, with showing your love, which I think is so appreciative or appreciated, um, at least by me. Um, thank you, everybody. Happy New Year. Um, really delighted to be joining you all from Uruguay. I'm going to tell you a little bit, or I'm going to read, actually, most of the poems I'm going to share with you and a lyric essay are about the country I live in. Um, but, you know, I, I thought about the theme um, of the series and the event of Rise and Resilience. And um, I wanted to start with a poem by the poet Christos, a two-spirit Menominee poet, who I think of um, first when I think about 
resilience and rising. And, um, and I also think of Uruguay as a country and how modern Uruguay has um, really resisted and risen um, some of the harsh um, political circumstances they endured in the 70s and 80s. Uh, so thank you, everybody. Um, I'm going to start with this poem um, from Christos, um, from her book, Not Vanishing, and I'll show you the book later uh, if you want to get it for yourself. And I actually, when I teach a poetry workshop, I always ask my poetry students to bring in the first day their favorite poem and to read it aloud to us to see what inspires them. And I shared this poem because it's my favorite poem um, to share what inspires me. So this is called Crazy Grandpa Whispers. Tells me, take a pickaxe to New Car Row, hack and clear the land, plant Hopi corn down to the sea. Tells me, break open that zoo buffalo corral, chase them snorting through the streets. Tells me, put up teepees in every vacant lot, shelter the poor without rent. Tells me, steal those dogs the pound suffocates, cook them for Lakota stew, feed the hungry without words. Crazy grandpa, supposed to be dead, they locked him up, he withered, not dead, I feel him shrivel against my backbone when I see anybody behind bars. Grandpa tells me, take back these cities, live as your ancestors, sew up the mouths of the enemy with their damn beads. Grandpa, I hear you through the walls of my skin. Grandpa, if I obey you, they'll lock me up again, like they did you. Grandpa, it's such a fine, fine line between my instincts and their sanity laws. I have no time to sew moccasins. Grandpa, I'm still learning how to walk in this world without getting caught. So that um, is a poem by Christos, and then I will now share some of my own work. I'm gonna read um, one poem, I think, um, and then I'm going to share my screen so you can actually see what I'm reading and some photos as well about what I'm reading about. Um, so thanks again. This poem is called Medio Dia. The sun is high above our Pareos, above La Plaza, where we're reading Ideas Poemas, practicing vocabularies and pronunciation. I read to myself in silence, then to test my tongue aloud. You understand me, the context I am quoting, her 65-year-old observations on the Uruguayan beach at noon. You translate Zumba, the drowsy bees buzz. Then the rest of Villarino's poem to English. Is that right? We are in communion. We are in love with the other's language, the ability to speak across our intonations. On the white sand behind us, four little girls play Papa Caliente, passing the football and counting to diez. In front, an old man pushes a cooler, shouting, helados. I tell you it's hot, you get me ice cream. Oh, there is one other poem that I'm gonna read before the slideshow. Um, so this is it. Um, and some of these places that I'm mentioning um, in Uruguay in these poems, they'll have further context when I read um, a piece that's coming up. Um, so, how is it? We stopped for directions to Cabo Polonio and I smelled fry bread. It couldn't be. I said, telling you quickly my hungry Indian history. You replied, estas son tortas fritas, una comida del campo desde hace mucho tiempo. Then, 
oh my God, those are my grandfathers. And there they were from Aguas Dulces, visiting an old friend who ran the roadside stand, a woman already wrapping the sweet dough and packing it in a plastic bag with napkins for us to eat on the sand dunes, trying to figure out with your grandmother how long it had been since the last time she'd seen you. Only then as tall as the hand she held at the pocket of her thin denim skirt. And how was it again that you and she were related? I watched this in English, waiting to taste the difference I would not find in what your ancestors and my ancestors fed us. How is it we shared this flour and fat they fried as golden as buttered toast on a dune buggy ride to a village without roads or electricity? Ate this ancient bread on ancient rocks, watching seals you call Los Lobos de Mar, envisioning a new Picasso. We ate these tortas as the sun dove, as the moon rose a day before it would be full, telling each other the names of our appetites in two languages winnowed down to basics. Do you like me? Do you like the bread? How is it? And um, now I'm gonna share my screen and hopefully um, this will go smoothly and you'll be able to see um, the next piece I'm going to read is a pantoum. Punta del Este is um, a big city on the east coast of Uruguay. Um, and a pantoum, for those of you who may not know, who aren't poets necessarily, is a poem of any length composed of four line stanzas in which the second and fourth lines serve as the first and third lines of the next stanza. So there's this series of repetition. And then a lot of times the pantoum lap, you know, ends with returning to that first line. So it makes a complete circle. Um, and when I write um, formal poems, poems that have a specific form, or when other poets are reading their work that are from, you know, formal poems, I like to see, you know, visually um, how those lines work and how the repetition, um, you know, follows the sequence of the strategy or the rules of the piece. So um, I wanted to share that visually with you all tonight too. So this is Punta del Este Pantum. Accept my need and let me call you brother. Slate blue oyster, wet sand crustacean. In your hurrying to burrow, wait, hover, Parse openings, disaster to creation's slate, to another blue-eyed monstrous sand crustacean, water bearer. Hear the ocean behind me, pursued, asking to be opened, asking creation to heed the tides that uncover you nightly. Water bearer, wear the water beside me, hide your burying shadow from the shorebirds, but heed the tides that uncover you nightly. Gems in sandcastles, stick written words, hidden from the shadows of shorebirds, washed over by water. Water's revelatory gems, sand, castles, sticks, words, assured of erasure, voluntary erosion. Watched over with warrior resolution, crab armor, claws, and nautilus heart, assured of a savior, reconstruct your evolution. Clamor to hear water scarab, what the tampered heart hears. A scarab's armor is light enough to fly. In your hurry to burrow, wait, hover, Hear the clamor of the crustacean's heart. Heed this call of creation. Call me brother. And so hopefully you can see the lines there and you can see that they're not exact repetitions um, as a pantoum would be. Um, but I take liberty with 
rules and boundaries and I love exploring and blending the boundaries between genres and between forms and working initially with a form like a pantoum but allowing myself some creativity in how I change or um, you know use that repetition so um, let me take a sip of mate and then I will move on the next piece is quite long so i have to sort of wet my mouth before i start and it also uses both languages which is another reason why i wanted to share it visually so you could see um, the words that i'm going to probably mispronounce in both languages because when i speak in spanish then i start speaking english wrong um, this next piece is a lyric essay i call it um, it also follows a form it's an abecedarian, it's the ABCs. So you can see I start with always and then the second line or stanza is because. So I moved through the alphabet. And um, I wrote this piece, you know, because I always got asked why I like Uruguay or what about it do I like? And um, so I thought I would write it all down <laughs> and just show it to people if they wanted to see what all about it is what all about it that i love um, so i will get started alphabet of the republic always i'm asked what i love about uruguay because the food i say because the people because the rhythm of the place the culture carnival Candombe drums that demand I dance. It's different, everything. It's education, free through university and evidently effective. Everyone seems wise, well-read and worldly. It's egalitarian. And though I know one Richie Rich, the majority of people are equal. They treat each other as equals. It's fun, I mean, fatal, just going to the grocery store, a walk in my awianas to practice my olas, the healthcare, universal and fucking fantastic. Yimanja, the goddess of the ocean, Idea Villarino, the first poet whose collected works I read entirely in Spanish, Jacarandas, karaoke at Hill Tempo, Kioscos to buy my tobacco y hojillas. Loros, the small green parrots that top the palmeras. La Paloma in Rocha, where I've beached seven summers. Chaves Antiguas, old skeleton keys to open my doors. And oh man, the beautiful doors of Uruguay. There are photo books and collage posters of the Puertas in Montevideo. I take mate at merienda, nap at siesta, obey the rhythms of my borrowed land. Public transportation, public Wi-Fi, public welfare, public exercise equipment, institutions that actually serve the public. Queso, I guess it makes sense that if Uruguay has the most natural beef in the world, its dairy would be as pure quince paste, which they call membricho, and I have sto a story about that for another time. Really, it's remarkable, I haven't mentioned the meat. Really, remarkable. But seriously, Uruguay outlawed antibiotics and hormones in its livestock in the 1970s. It's banned Monsanto and GMOs, Imported transgenic foods are marked with a yellow triangled T. Tomatoes still taste like tomatoes in Uruguay. Bananas still have seeds. It's a long trip south, but vale la pena. Now, if I shortened vale la pena to just vale, it would suggest I'm from Spain. The abridged version in Uruguay is dale, used like okay, pero ta. You know, I love learning these distinctions between spellings and palabras. Zorisha. Zorisha's on the 20 peso note, which you can imagine, oops, which you can imagine as a dollar. Juan Zorisha de San Martin, an epic Uruguayan poet whose home, bought by scholars of the state, 
is now a national museum. A street and park are named for him. Juana de Ibarbaro appears on the thousand peso, another poet. The hundred peso features Eduardo Fabini, a musician and composer. Do you know what I'm getting at? The Uruguayan money has artists and thinkers on it. And I think about the killers I carry in my US wallet. Zumba, my first automata poetic Spanish word, the drowsy bees buzz. Sherba mate, obviously, if you know me, I've nearly always got a mate full of sherba, the Guarani herb that motors the world's most nocturnal country, Uruguay. Except Uruguay isn't really the country's name. No tiene nombre oficial, but is officially known as La República Oriental del Uruguay, the republic east of the Uruguay River, referencing itself by location by the X on the upside down map and uses the indigenous name of the nearby river, this cattle country crossed and bordered by rivers and sea, its bays a sweet and salty mix, which are just some of the why and what I love about this watery paisito. The first time I met her crossing the Rio de la Plata from Buenos Aires on a whim, a mention, just the first weekend of a 10 day escape from North American winter with another US writer. We decided within 24 hours to stay the entire holiday in Uruguay. Verdad, era verano. It was summer in our winter time, carnival, and we toured the Atlantic beaches, convinced we'd been secreted into a kind of heaven as if the Bentebeos saw and sung to us, the velas lit for Yimanja, an extraordinary riverside welcome, warm beacons with carnations, coins, watermelons. Y acá volvimos, vivíamos, y yo vivo de nuevo. Uruguay, Uruguay, Uruguay. Uruguay, Uruguay, Uruguay. You're gay. You're a single gay guy living in Uruguay. Que suerte. Che. Ooh. Ta. It's tranquilo. And truth be told, todavía no sé what it is to be exact. Todo. Los tomates. Las tortas fritas. Los tedos. El tortugón. El tango. Los tambores the drum groups in the streets, the people on their feet, the two beats that keep the culture dancing, los tambores, los tangueros, the tango, the tambores, and los tubamados. Spanish as a second language. I had studied a semester with a Spaniard, had Cuban friends teach me to cuss, heard my share of Puerto Rican pillow talk, but learning to speak Uruguayan Spanish? No es poca cosa. No es catalán, cierto, pero casi canario. An idioma of opposites, where a former prison is now a luxury shopping mall and the current prison is called freedom, where barbaric and fatal are adjectives for amazing, where to experience joy is to die or to be killed by something. See, si, no, it's a see, si, no, or see, si. see, si, no, see. Si. R, R, mi perrita, mi porro, mi ferro carril, mi fat Yankee tongue trying to roll the double R. Oh, dare. Really, I don't know if that will work on the page. The Rambla. Among my first and constant appreciations, Montevideo's Rambla is 13.7 miles of uninterrupted sidewalk along the river and up the Atlantic coast. It's where Montevideanos ramble, rest, relax, and meet for mate, to read, to exercise, to take sun, run. Its rhythms still and accelerate me. Requeson. Que tal? How's it going? 
Quizás you're wondering how much love for this little country I'm going to be, sh I'm going to share. I'll try to be quicker. Pero el problema es you can't rush a Uruguayan and I am growing more charugua every day. And there are lots of things I love in the Republic that start with P. Poets. There are so many poets and the people actually read poetry. There are poems etched in marble in public plazas. The people read and the people are kind, helpful, pretty, and peaceful until it comes to football. And then it's back to the killing metaphors. But pizza, pasta, pan de azúcar, where I saw a live wild black puma in a sheep pasture. Ah, population statistics. There are seven sheep for every human in Uruguay and there are four cows for each person. Palermo, Piriapolis, Parque Rodó, Cabo Polonio, Punta del Diablo, Palos Borrachos, oops, Olimpicos and other sandwiches de miga, Las Ondas Buenas, Ojalá, y Obvio, eating gnocchis on the 29th of every month, Niños Envueltos, Delicious sausage in cabbage with a torturous name, wrapped children, riquísimo son. Mira, mate, mimos, mercados, murgas, the meat, si carne, media lunas at merienda, the extra meal. They have four meals a day in Uruguay, and merienda suits me, soothes mi hambre at North American dinner time. I have to mention Mujica, the former president, his example, history, and his changing the face of the Republic to El Mundo. Shuvia, I love the fucking rain in Uruguay, and it's a good thing because this country is elemental. Water falling into water, sky and sea, sea and earth, soul and sky, where shamadas call me to my feet for their ensachas y desfiles. Lemon and I'm even allergic to onions, but this Armenian inspired Uruguayan dish is like pa, a grilled pita bread topped with spiced citrus, citrus beef ceviche. Kisses, abundant as bread, and everything starts and ends with a beso. How tender and wholesome and masculine and shattering of macho North American stereotypes of how two humans can so naturally touch each other. Granted, this is one kiss on the cheek, but there are exponential expressions of their comfort with intimacy. Ha 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 is how they text laughter. Y les gusta reír. And I laugh at how distant my language just got when I spoke of showing affection. I have a lot to learn yet. Hamon y queso, fuas. Yimanja, I have mentioned an important part, an important figure in my knowing the country and my gratitude, part of my introduction. How we arrived the first time the weekend of her birthday, February 2nd, and joined Montevideo on Plaza Ramirez to light candles and leave her regalos on the sand and in the sea. Olas de hermosas, olas, horneros y hombres excepcionales. Guapos, guapas, gauchos, and goal! We've gotten to football, and I've become a fanatico. Shafui, I'm a first clasico between Peñarol y Nacional, and now only lack one task to becoming unofficially Uruguayan, learning to play truco. But of my fondness for the other game, obviously it has a lot to do with futbolistas. Faina y bueno ta, no falta mucho para el fin, and everything yet to be said, yet an expression of some sorts shared. Empanadas, I don't know if Uruguay invented the tango or empanadas, but it has perfected them. Desfiles of diversity, and marches for more derechos humanos, and the country is already known to be the most humanitarian in the Americas. The first country in the world to legalize marijuana, the first country to allow a woman to file for divorce. 
one of the few Latin American countries where abortion is safe and legal. Gay marriage, claro, like it was never a question. Uruguay elected a transgender senator and a female vice, two female vice presidents. Chorizos, choripan, chivitos, but che, escuchave, the way Italian, Spanish, and African genes have mixed with los charrua. Carne, the best meat in the world, happy cows and 52 cuts of beef, pulpon, asado, entrecot, lomo, nalga, peseto, vacío, colita, de, colita de cuadril, morcilla, sweet or salty, chinchulín, chorizo. I dated a carnicero, I dated a cowboy, carnival drums and murgas, parades and bailarinas, las comparsas, la comparsita, a never ending series of cenas and cumples. But because the rhythm of the place, I say, because the people, because the food, which centers on the asado, the barbecue, and ends with aplausos for the asador. So I am, um, thank you, I'm gonna turn off my slideshow in a minute and come back face to face. Um, I wanted to show this um, slide though, of the book that, um, of Christos's Not Vanishing, from which I read that first poem um, to start the program. And I'll also finish um, the program, at least my part of the formal reading to you all uh, with another poem from, from Christos, from the same book. Um, I'm gonna read one more poem of my own um, and then I'll finish with Christos's poem um, the poem I'm going to read is from this new anthology that's pictured there on the right, um, edited by Joy Harjo and Jennifer Forrester and Leanne Howe, um, a new anthology from Norton of Native Poetry. Um, and my poem that I'm going to read is in that book, as well as Christos's poem that I'll finish with is in both of these books. Um, so I will uh, you know, stop the sharing there. And I'll read my poem. It's called A Proposal. And then I'll finish with Christos's poem. I am a young man, fire. You are a young man, wood. Listen, I will go with you. In the air I enter, ancient. You in the smoke. Kingfisher just kissed you. The green frog, he just kissed you. The dragonfly, wood, water, stone. Choices are frequently made through inspiration. A cloth, a chair, a walking stick, various symbols to elevate you. The little white dog made footprints. You and I just hold up the stars. And um, thank you all for listening. And you know, you know, if we have time for questions, we'll do that. Um, I know there's gonna video, we're gonna see a, a video, which I'm excited to see. Um, and then I'm gonna finish, you know, this with um, a poem I again from Christos and a poem that I will also finish my poetry workshops with. Um, you know, as I said, I open with um, a poem by Christos and then after the workshop, however long it's been on the last day, I like this to be sort of like a going away or a see you later sort of um, piece. And so I'll share that with you. And it's called Ceremony for Completing a Poetry Reading. This is a giveaway poem. You've come gathering made a circle with me of the places I've wandered. I give you the first daffodil opening from earth I've sown. I give you warm loaves of bread baked in soft mounds like breasts. In this circle, I pass each of you a shell from our mother sea. 
hold it in your spirit. Hear the stories she'll tell you. I've wrapped your faces around me, a warm robe. Let me give you ribbon work leggings, dresses sewn with elk teeth, moccasins woven with red and sky blue porcupine quills. I give you blankets woven of flowers and roots. Come closer, I have more to give. This basket is very large. I've stitched it of your kind words. Here is a necklace of feathers and bones, a sacred meal of choke cherries. Take this mask of bark, which keeps out the evil ones. This basket is only the beginning. There is something in my arms for all of you. I offer this memory of sunrise seen through ice crystals. Here, an afternoon of looking into the sea from high rocks. Here, a red-tailed hawk circles over our heads. One of her feathers drops for your hair. May I give you this round stone, which holds an ancient spirit. This stone will soothe you. Within this basket is something you've been looking for all of your life. Come, take it. Take as much as you need. I give you seeds of a new way. I give you the moon shining on a fire of singing women. I give you the sound of our feet dancing. I give you the sound of our thoughts flying. I give you the sound of peace moving into our faces and sitting down. Come, this is a giveaway poem. I cannot go home until you have taken everything and the basket which holds it. When my hands are empty, I will be full. Mudo, gracias, thank you. Um, and I will let the official programming take back over. Thank you everybody so much. Thank you very much, Chip. Wow, that was nice little travels for those of us here in the States to see what uh, Uruguay is all about. So uh, beautiful imagery, uh, beautiful, beautiful. All I can say is we love you, Chip. Uh, we miss you. We wish you were here. But most importantly, we're very grateful that you're happy where you're at. And that's important that uh, we find happiness. So thank you, Chip Livingston, and anybody that wants to purchase any of Chip's books, please go to his website. So uh, just before we launch into everything, we just want to tell you what's coming up. Tomorrow is the end of the year, and for some of us, uh, a, a lot of celebrations for that. Next week, next year, uh, the Wisdom Circle continues. We've got the beautiful Terry Gomez, who is from the Comanche Nation. She too uh, was a teacher at the Institute of American Indian Arts in theatre. So she'll be joining us. Our whole format has uh, changed. So we'll be looking forward to that style of the new year, new beginnings, new, 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 new. Um, now, most of you are aware uh, of our incredible things that have been happening. Chip's video or recording of this will be available in our website, indigenousways.org, which is just above my head, I-N-D-I-G-E-N-O-U-S-W-A-Y-S.org. Uh, his contact information is there. Also, if you're in Zoom, uh, in the uh, chat box as well, and also throughout the social media, but all the personal information about our up and coming artists and also our past artists and also Chip's uh, recording will be in there as well for people to view. This is possible because of our incredible uh, sponsors. So just wanna give a shout out to the the Native American Advice Fund, the Santa Fe Community Foundation, the National Endowments of the Arts, West F, West F Cares, New Mexico Arts, New Mexico Humanities Council, and also the National 
Endowment of Humanities. With their sponsorship, all of these events, 68 of them, uh, have been free uh, so everyone can access them. We also have ASL interpreters to making access available for all. We are very grateful for that. And we'd like to say thank you to our Indigenous Ways board members who have been very dedicated and resilient uh, from where we started to now. A lot has happened and we've got a beautiful uh, board. Uh, so thank you all. We love you all very, very much. We're really, really, really looking forward to next year on so many levels. <laughs> Before I talk about that, I just want to say, Chip, thank you for putting your 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 words, your music, uh, and your to me, your poetry is like music. There's so much prosody, and uh, thank you for putting it out there for all of us. It's very healing. So keep writing, keep teaching, keep doing everything you're doing, and stay beautiful. You're just beautiful. Um, but we are definitely looking forward to our platform starting 2021, which is going to be moderated. So there will be me or Elena speaking and asking questions to the presenter. So it's gonna be very interactive with our ASL interpreters. And next month, as uh, Lena said, we're very excited for Terry Gomez. That woman is funny as. And uh, following Terry, we have a whole uh, list of beautiful uh, performers. And uh, we have our uh, musical performance. Our concert's gonna be on the third Saturday and uh, last night, I booked Keith Sokola. And I don't know about uh, all of you, but he is well known for his song, Indian Car. Uh, and we have a bunch of other really wonderful uh, presenters coming up. And we're looking forward to go to our website and see them all. And, uh, and then lastly, <clears throat> excuse me, uh, if you want to donate, uh, here's all the information below. Uh, as I said, on the 1st of April, we started the Indigenous Ways virtual events and the issue, what we wanted to do was keep everyone connected through the space. This is number 68 show uh, that we're so grateful to have where we've supported Native American Indigenous, our LGBTQIA2+, our deaf and hard of hearing artists, musicians, elders, spiritual advisors. As I said before, all of these have all of these uh, events have been interpreted. So we have had over 172 ASL interpreters, Not and as well as we've had 60,000 views of live streaming and also our website recordings. We've had over 2,400 participants in our Zoom platform live. We've received 10 grants supporting this from national, state, local, private foundations and arts organizations. We've had over 200 people, 200 individual donors. While we were here, Tasha's from Black Mountain in Arizona on the Navajo Nation. Uh, and when the pandemic hit, a lot of you know, the Navajo Nation was hugely hit. And so through this platform, and thanks to all of you, we were able to raise over 75,000, both in-kind and online donations, where we made six trips to Black Mountain, taking emergency, PPE, water, hand-washing stations, food, that would not have been possible without you. So thank you to our amazing online community and uh, really getting behind and helping people. Monday, we just uh, did 17 sheep to the Navajo Nation. And then on next Tuesday, we'll be going up for another run, taking PPE gear, emergency water and firewood. So I wanna thank everyone for making this possible. It takes a village to raise a child. And one of the reasons why we did this, cause it takes a village to ensure everyone is safe, well, mentally, emotionally, physically, and spiritually. This was possible because of what we've been doing here. If you want to give to our end of year donation, the information is there. We're just grateful you're all here. Thank you. 
Thank you very much. And I just want to clarify the 172 interpreters. What she means by that is for all of our shows, the 68 times two, each show has had two interpreters. I just want to clarify that. We um, are very grateful for our interpreters. So thank you all for being here, Chris and Tristan. So as you can see, a lot of people are already in. If you're in our Zoom and you want to be involved in here, please, this is an opportunity to turn on your cameras. If you might have a question or something for the beautiful chip, uh, or you might want to have a comment, or you just might want to check in. If you're in our multitudes of social media, chuck something in the chat box like Janie Immerman has. She said, wonderful chip. I felt like I was traveling through Uruguay. I had a customer who was from Uruguay who said her country was a must see. Uh, and, and in saying that, is there anyone who is in Zoom that would like to share or say something to Chip or anyone else while we're here? Uh, you'll need to unmute while you're doing that. Narissa Bond says, thank you for taking us on a journey with you. Uh, and we've got Marilyn Brown. Marilyn, thanks. It's good to see you out in Madrid. She says, beautiful. Any takers in uh, our wonderful... Okay, Zoom. Mimi. Let's start with Mimi. Mimi. Unmute, Mimi. I want to just say, oh my God, Chip, you were extraordinary. Poets, poets on the money, not killers on the money. Po you are such... You are such a channel of poetry. It was such a delight to be inspired by your poetry, your work, your your poesia, um, that you brought in Christos. I'm just so blown away that you know who she is and you you keep her alive in our hearts by, by bringing her forward and this was such a wonderful way to close the year and Indigenous Ways performances. I'm so grateful I'm here and introducing my friend Yvonne Peterson to you. Um, and I have to say one thing, Chip, you might have done too good of a job on Uruguay because now it's like, why stay here? Let's go. <laughs> Let's go to Uruguay. <laughs> <laughs> um, thank you so much and you're welcome i mean there's there's room here for more <laughs> <laughs> i just want to give mimi a plug she was one of our may performers she is an incredible comic writer da 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 mimi great to see you okay anybody else ah yvonne Hi, thank you very much for this whole group. Uh, I really enjoyed it, Chip. It was like Mimi, me, Mimi put it very profoundly, much better than I could. But um, I really am grateful to you, and it was wonderful to hear everything and to see you and hear your poem as well. And um, this is the first time I'm here, so I'm grateful that Mimi brought me along. And Thanks. I really appreciate it. Thank you. Gracias, Yvonne. Thank you. All right. Anyone else? Richard. Uh, I just want to say, is there any vegans down there? Yeah, there are. Um, oh, <laughs> absolutely. <laughs> I mean, uh, I, I, lo I used to, uh, that meat made me almost want to go out and eat meat, but I, I, I'm not going to. And no, I have not, when I came here the first time, I hadn't eaten meat or red meat in almost 10 years. And then I was like, wow, this tastes like so natural. And like what I remember from childhood um, when things really tasted like themselves. Oh, but yeah. there's lots of, there's all kinds of cuisine here. Um, it's famous for its meat, but there's lots of vegetarians. Uh, also, uh, yeah, I want to reiterate that it sounds like Uruguay is, is what uh, uh, USA, the empire, which is where we live, USA, should have been. That, that's the country we should have been. But I'm so glad that that country exists. Uh, it almost gives me hope. Uh, yeah, I, I, I hate the word hope. Hope, hope sits there and does nothing. It gives me pleasure to hear it. Uh, I'm so glad 
that those human beings down there learned how to be human beings. And the rest of us should look to them, not go down there and populate them, <laughs> but we should do it in our own homelands. And that yeah. way we can go and visit Uruguay and say, yeah, I know this place. It's like home. I just love what, what's down here. That's why I came to visit. But I want to go back home, too. And uh, so, yes, thank the Uruguay, Uruguay people, because somebody who puts poetry first before the politician has got my soul. Awesome. <laughs> thank you so much, Richard. Oh, we love you, Richard. Ooh. Thank you. Wonderful poet from San Francisco. Oh, man, I was going to put it in, and I can't find the Zoom codes. But the 1428 poets and the sacred grounds, uh, uh, I'm on June, uh, January 5th, sacred grounds is on January 6th. You just go to the web pages on Facebook, the 1428 poets and uh, the sacred ground uh, place. And it's the same Zoom, co Zoom codes for both. And All I right. hope to see some, some people from the Southwest. We don't have enough coming from the Southwest to uh, talk to us here on the West Coast. All right, thank you, Richard. And Thanks, Elena Richard. just posted just... it into the sidebar. So, uh, um... yeah, I'm doing that. I just, I'm sorry about. Oh, it's the... done. It's done. Yeah. we already did it. It's right there. Oh, you're fast. No, she is. Somebody is. Thank you. <laughs> All right. Anybody else? Okay, what we're going to do is we got a special surprise for you all this evening. So everybody uh, buckle up. We got some beautiful peeps that have joined us. And this is what Elena put together. And let's uh, check it out to call out our, our year. Go ahead, Elena. So this is a wonderful way of ending uh, our year through all the support that we've had uh, through the Zoom. Uh, so we contacted everyone and so this is what uh, everyone has put together. And I'll just mute this. We're on camera and we're off mute, on mute. I'm going to put our camera on, so just be still. I'm just going to talk to you because no one can hear us. And then uh, what's going to happen, Taj? Happy, Happy New, New Year! Year! Make it a good one! Make it a good one! one. <laughs> Happy New Year! My inspirations from 2020 were involved in the, being involved in the public school system with my 10 year old granddaughter. And my aspirations See, for 2021 are to be able to be. To address and highlight the, the educational needs for our young Native American youth. I am grateful for all of you. May 2021 be the year of healing and thriving for all of us. Happy New Year. Happy New Year to all my friends and family, everyone across the globe. Happy New Year. Please continue to use masks. Hello, I'm Please Christine. And I'm Donna. We live in Columbus, Ohio, the ancestral home of the Hopewell, Scioto, and Miami peoples. Greetings to our Indigenous Ways family around the world. We are honored and grateful to have spent many wisdom circles with you this year. Let us walk into the new year in peace and love. Happy New Year, everyone. It's been a hard year, but being at home and being alone has brought me closer to my dogs and cats, peacocks and gardens. I've had wonderful times in the forest. 
although at all times it was impossible not to be aware of the terrible suffering around us. There was good political news. Trump will be leaving the White House. Jeff Holland will be leaving the Department of Interior. And I truly believe the coming year will be better and that if and when we face another virus, Alive we will do it in our hearts with compassion and love. Thank you to all of you, my fellow board members, for letting me be a part of Indigenous Life. Jennifer Gorman here, just saying hello and Happy New Year. Take care of yourselves, stay safe, and I love you. Hello, everyone. 2020 has been quite an extreme year. The pandemic, closure of businesses, people losing their sense of love and community, friends, co-workers, everyone suffering. But the year coming up, 2021, will be a much better year. We have a new president. We can return to normal. We can unite. We can heal. It will take place. It will happen. Folks, I wish you a happy new year. 2021. Cheers and love. Hi, I'm Destiny. And we're just here to say happy new year. And here's to another year of resilience and strength because we know that we need it. Hey, Tosh and Elena, everyone watching Indigenous Ways. It's Larry Mitchell here. I just want to wish everyone a wonderful, happy new year. Be safe, healthy, and enjoy as much as you can. Happy New Year, everyone. Well, it's the end of 2020. Hallelujah. We've made it through. This has been one tough year. Loss, loss of loved ones. For me, loss also of a job. And I can't believe it's the end of the year, but I'm so glad it is. And I realize that I can get through anything. I may not like it, but I can get through it. So what I wish for everybody in 2021 is peace and love and health and joy and happiness and fun and hugs. I wish hugs because we all need a giant hug. And as the last full moon of the year rises over New York City and all over the world, the moon can rise. So can I and so can we. So all I have to say is Happy New Year and thank you. God, 2020 is over. <laughs> Love to all, peace and light, and may the light in me shine brightly in the light of you. Gordon and Carlin, wishing you the very happiest of new years. Happy. Y para todos mis amigos que son de habla español, igualmente, feliz año nuevo. Und auch für die Leute, die Deutsche sprechen können, Hi everyone, it's Gabe and Mia, and we both want to wish you a happy new year and remind you how beautiful you are and hope that 2021 will be your best year ever. Yate and happy new year. Hi, Tasha and Elena. Congratulations for an incredible year of Indigenous Ways concerts and wisdom circles that have brightened up an otherwise quite bleak year and brought us all together. So Amzosha wants to do a little concert for you from our whole household to yours. Thanks, Tasha and Elena. I really appreciate Indigenous Solutions and the concerts and wisdom circles. It's really brightened up our year and we love you so much and we love our community that even though we can't be physically together, we can still be together on the airwaves. So 2021 is going to be a better year for all. Bye. Bye. As difficult as 2020 has been, it's also been a very good time creatively. I was able to release a new CD this year. I've been able to do online concerts and reach people around the world. I was able to work with Indigenous women, and I hope it continues into the new year, and I wish you all a fantastic new year. Hello from Santa Fe. Thank you for all your music and wisdom in this past difficult year. 
and we look forward to lots more in 2021. Happy New Year. Hey, everybody. This is Leonard from Santa Fe. I just want to wish everybody a happy, healthy 2021. I'm so excited that that dumpster fire that was 2020 is over and uh, we can move forward to a new and very positive year. I want to wish everybody um, a healthy, happy, joyous 2021, full of love, full of creativity, full of um, success, and uh, uh, hope everyone and their families and friends uh, and our community uh, that we can all move forward together. Happy New Year! Mm -hmm. Happy, yeah. New, Happy Year. New Year! Right. Happy New Year! Yeah. Hello. This is Michelle and wanting to wish everyone a happy new year. We have gotten through this year and that we've gone through a lot with this COVID pandemic and we've shown each other that we are really powerful people and we are made to endure and survive and we have resilience and strength and, um, and we are going to encounter the challenges that are presented to us. But now this year is looking so much brighter and we've got a lot to look forward to. So here's to going forward and enjoying all the good things that we've worked so hard for and making it even better. So upward and onward. Woohoo! Hi, I'm Terry and Penny. And we want to wish you a happy new year. Anin. I'm Kisakola. Join me on January 16th for Indigenous Ways three to four Mountain Standard Time. And Happy New Year's, everyone. Miigwech and be safe. And blessings to everyone. Every day is New Year's. Happy New Year's. Mini Wachoni. Water is life. And so is community. And feeling each other as family. Indigenous ways, you kept us connected. Thank you so much. And if anybody is looking for a sign, that there was some silver lining and goodness up in the sky for the first time in 7,000 years. A comet that we named Neo Wise. Neo Wise. New wisdom. It's time. That was the sign. Something new. Something new to think about. I hope you caught it. And I hope you look forward to what there was to learn and there is to live. Oh, my name is Mimi Gonzalez. Thank you, Tasha and Elena, and family, and people, and gente connected to indigenous ways. Why? Mm. I say, Elena, why did you cut it off right there? Elena was just getting ready to sing, and she stopped it. I'm like. <laughs> Jeez. That's why. <laughs> that was her Maori song. I'm like, why'd you cut it off? We love you guys. Happy New Year. Thank you, Chip. Mario, we're going to come see you. We're going to get to D.C. Anyway, this would not be possible without any of you. We cannot thank you enough as just a small vocab of our deep appreciation for making the Indigenous Ways virtual events a possibility. Um, let's give it up for our incredible ASL interpreters. We've got uh, Chris Esiando and also Tristan who are on tonight. All of you through our Zoom, through our social media who are on, who are also watching the video, thank you for blessing us. And also, please, let's give it up for Chip Livingston. Woo! Yeah! All right, you guys, we'll see you next yeah! week. Terry Gomez, Shoo. Comanche, Shoo. they don't play. We're going to see you next year. Yeah. Don't forget your mask. Be safe. Be well. Walk with love. Walk with love, you guys. Mwah. Anyway, we love you. We love you. Be well. Thank you, everyone. We love, love, love you. <laughs>